Sidney Poitier, the Colfax Massacre, and Butch Cassidy are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is April 13th, 2021. It is the 103rd day of the year. There are 262 days left in 2021. It's the 15th Tuesday in the 16th week. It is the 25th day of spring, everyone. We've got 69 days until summer. Today is the Burmese New Year. Burmese New Year seeks to celebrate the Burmese New Year. It's a water festival basically. Water is supposed to represent changing over, and it's a good celebration. A lot of people enjoy it. I've seen video of it. It's kind of interesting. The holiday goes on for three days, and it involves many participants who take part in the Burmese custom of splashing others with water. The custom is meant to wash away the old year and welcome the new year. I think that's pretty interesting. All right, let's see what else April 13th has given us. 1861, the American Civil War, Fort Sumner surrenders to the Confederate forces. This was a very interesting battle in the Civil War. Basically, the Confederate troops showed up and bombarded this fort for 34 straight hours before the surrender. It was kind of brutal. It was on fire and everything else like that, and eventually they just had to give up. They had all kinds of problems. They didn't have enough ammunition, and even the ammunition they had, the explosive shells didn't have fuses, so they could only fire basically cannonballs at people, and it just really was wasn't a good situation for the Union troops. 1873, the Colfax Massacre. The Colfax Massacre, or Colfax Riots, some call it, happened on Easter Sunday, April 13th, 1873, in Colfax, Louisiana. It is estimated that 62 to 153, I know there's a big gap there, black militia men were killed while surrendering to a mob of former Confederate soldiers. An estimated 62 to 153, I know that's a big gap, but there's a lot that goes into this, black militia men were killed while surrendering to a mob of former Confederate soldiers, members of the Ku Klux Klan, and the White League. Three white men also died in the confrontation. Most of the free men were killed after surrendering. Nearly 50 were killed later that night after being held as prisoners for several hours. Estimates of the number of dead have varied, and that's because a lot of the black soldiers or militiamen ran into the woods. And then the ones that were killed, they were buried in mass graves and nobody was really keeping record. And some were just thrown in the Red River that was near there. So, yeah, they're not really sure how many died there, but it was a lot. 1960, the United States launches Transit 1B, the world's first satellite navigation system. That's interesting. 1964, at the Academy Awards, Sidney Poitier becomes the first African-American male to win Best Actor Award for the 1963 film Lilies of the Field. Good movie. I watched it when I was a kid with my grandmother. It was a good movie. 1976, 40 workers die in an explosion at a Finnish ammunition factory. It is the deadliest accidental disaster in modern history in Finland. 2003, a school bus outside of Athens, Greece, was involved in a major vehicle accident with a truck and multiple cars, leaving 21 students that were in the 10th grade dead and 9 injured during their return home from a trip to Athens. Two thousand seventeen, the U.S. drops the largest ever non-nuclear weapon on Nangarhar Province, Afghanistan. This is called a GBU forty-three B, Massive Ordnance Air Blast, is what it's called. Most people know it as the Moab or Mother of All Bombs. At the time of its development, it was said to be the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in the American arsenal. The bomb is designed to be delivered by cargo planes, like a C one hundred and thirty Hercules, uh, MC one hundred and thirty E Combat Talon one, or the Combat Talon two, different variants. But it's not dropped by a typical bomber because they're too small to carry this thing. It's so big. So what this did, the Taliban and later ISIS used the mountains and caves of Afghanistan to fight the Russians in the 1980s and ISIS fought the United States and its allies in the 2000s and beyond. Now this is a great place to wage war for forces that lack a lot of heavy equipment. They can get into the hills and into the caves and hide and it becomes impossible to get them out or fight without having a high casualty rate for an attacking force. So instead of trying to get these guys out of the mountains and out of the caves, so we dropped this giant bomb near a known cave system and it just collapsed on them. The whole thing just collapsed on them. So problem solved, I guess. They estimate that 92 ISIS fighters died in the collapse or the bombing, whatever you want to call it. What's funny about this bomb is you'd think it'd have some special delivery system. No, they basically put it on rails and a bunch of guys push it out the back of an airplane. What's interesting about this one is they took into consideration not just how much impact it has on the ground and the people, but the people of the area will hear and feel this thing, and they think the psychological thing will cause people to lose their will to fight. That's how loud and that's how powerful this thing is. 
Movies released on April 13th, 2001, Bridget Jones Diaries. This was a cute movie. It's a romantic comedy, but it's nice. It's actually an Oscar nominated romantic comedy in which a British woman keeps a personal diary in a year where she's looking for love. Basically, she's single and she's trying to find a man. So she just details her adventures of trying to find a mate. The film is based on a 1996 novel by Helen Fielding of the same name. Fielding assisted in the screenplay and it had a lot of good people in there. It had Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, Renee Zellweger. It was a good movie. If you ever get a chance, watch that. They had a follow up movie to it that wasn't as good, but the first one was really good. Died on April 13th, 1866. Butch Cassidy, American Criminal. So not a lot of people realize that the movie Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, which was made in the late 60s, or early 70s, they were actually two real dudes. And they were in this gang back in the late 1800s called the Wild Bunch. And they robbed banks and they robbed trains and all kinds of stuff. Well, they had caused so much drama in the United States and everyone was out to get them and catch them and kill them, whatever. They fled to Bolivia. When they got down to Bolivia, instead of living off whatever money they had or whatever, they started robbing places in Bolivia. And that's how they eventually met their end. There was a mine and they robbed the payroll courier and eventually word got around where these two Americans were that had robbed this thing. The local sheriff, some soldiers and the local mayor surrounded the building they were in just start shooting it up. They kept shooting it until they quit hearing people screaming. They went in the next morning and found two bodies which were Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid dead in Bolivia. Died on April 13th, 1975, Larry Parks, American actor and singer. Now, I'm going to do a whole podcast on this guy, but I'll give you the brief rundown. Samuel Lawrence Larry Klossman Parks was born on December 13th, 1914, and he died on April 13th, 1975. He was an American stage and movie actor. His career was doing pretty good. He started off playing bit parts and then supporting roles and eventually was set to become a leading man. And they had all these plans for him. And then the Red Scare came in the 1950s, and he admitted he was a member of the Communist Party. This led to him getting blacklisted from Hollywood Studios. He went on to have a nice career owning buildings and a construction company, but that basically kicked him out. He was on the verge of stardom. He had inked a deal with, with a major movie studio, I think it was Columbia at the time. He had three movies he was supposed to do for them as pretty much a leading man, and they canceled all of them, shunned him from the business. Pretty sad. But I'm doing a bunch of research on him, and I'm going to involve it in my podcast, probably my next podcast which i want to put up every week or every month but it ends up being maybe two one month and then three months without one eventually i'll get to it all right guys that is today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you got some information out of it now go out have a productive day and be nice to each other